It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Mound Builders. Egypt has its pyramids, Paris its catacombs, and America has its prehistoric native mounds. In West Virginia, we once had over 400 such mounds in our valleys, built by the Adena and Hopewell cultures between 500 BC and 750 AD. West Virginia's most prominent mounds include the Grave Creek Mound by the Ohio River, the largest conical mound in the nation, and located in the eponymous town of Moundsville, the Romney Indian Mound by the Potomac and its namesake town, and the Creole Mound along the Kanawha River and the epicenter of South Charleston. In 1883, the Smithsonian Institute excavated the Creole Mound, finding skeletons at the base thought to be chiefs, shaman, or warriors, and pottery and artifacts at upper levels. This specialized craftsmanship is evidence that the Hopewell and Adena people had a sophisticated economy connected to other pre-Columbian people. The names of these two cultures come from the same location on property along the Scioto River near Chillicothe, Ohio. The younger mounds were found on the farm of Mordecai Hopewell, thus giving the mound builders of the Middle Woodland period his name. The older mounds were found on adjacent property, the estate of Thomas Worthington, Ohio's sixth governor, who moved the state capital from Chillicothe to Columbus. He named his estate Adena, thought to be a Hebrew word meaning Eden. Before living in Ohio, however, Worthington was born and raised in Charlestown, in West Virginia's eastern panhandle. Hence, the Adena people from the early woodland period were given their name by a native West Virginian. <laughs>